there. Oh, we had one, guys. Right up here by the damn shore. Let's see if he's still around there. There we go. What is this? Oh, this is a largemouth. Little one. Little largemouth right there. Let's see if we can lift them. Greetings and salutations, everyone. Jake with JVD Fishing here. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I use the Deeper Pro Castable Fish Finder to locate and catch fish on a lake from the shore. Now I've used the Deeper Pro about three or four times, uh, twice on Lake Michigan, and I caught coho that I probably wouldn't have caught if I hadn't found them with the Deeper Pro Fish Finder today. I'm on this lake, we locate a bass, and we ended up catching it. I uh, probably wouldn't have done that without the Deeper Pro. Yesterday I was here as well and I located big schools of fish out there, but I couldn't get a lure, couldn't cast a lure far enough towards them uh, in their area to try to catch them. But today we had good luck using the Deeper Pro. Just made this video so you guys can kind of get an idea as to whether or not the Deeper Pro might be a piece of equipment that you might like to use if you're a shore fisherman. I've been using it and I think I've caught a few more fish than I normally would have if I hadn't had it. So uh, after I catch the bass using it in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate or at least show what big schools of fish look like on the deeper uh, pro fish finder. So guys, stick around. Hope you enjoy the content. And I wanna thank everybody who watches and has been liking and commenting and subscribing. Appreciate all that. So without further delay, let's do some fishing. Go ahead and get our phone set up here. Obviously got the rod mount Phone mount on the rod. This is a rod I use to cast the deeper pro. I use it only to cast the deeper pro Let's go ahead and pull that out now Got it on there, right? Go ahead and screw it in. <clears throat> Go the deeper pro. Let's cast it out there. See if we can locate any schools of fish like we were yesterday. A cannonball. All right, we got a fish way out there, small one. 6.6 .6 feet deep. That is way out there. Hard to tell what kind of fish it might be. Alright, let's go ahead. That fish is out there. Let's go ahead and give it another cast. It was quite a ways out there, though. And I said this place has a tendency to get real muddy. My reel here. Super muddy. That's about where that fish is located at. It was a bass, though. Yep. 
There we go. There we go, guys. We got a fish on. Look at that. The deeper pro, guys. Deeper pro. We got a fish on. I've been fishing here. This is my second day out here. And we finally got a fish. Excited about that. Look at that. Largemouth bass. Can you guys see that? Oh, man. He's a nice size one, too. Look at that thing running through the water. We caught him. All right, let's get him up here. You guys can see that. He's a... He's a fighter right here. There we go. All right. Not a huge bass by any means. Maybe a good, uh, you know, one and a half, two pounder. But not bad, though, off of that worm. I believe that's a Gary Yamamoto worm. All right, you guys have no idea. This is uh, not my second time. I'm, I'm mistaken. This is my third time out here. And this is the first fish that I've landed out of here. And I got to say, that deeper Sonar Pro really helps. Look at that. He got hooked pretty good. Let's see if we can get him out of there without... There we go. Nice little bass. Springtime bass. Let's go ahead and put it back in the water. Let's see. Put you back in there. Go on. Get out of here. There you go. All right. Feeling good about that. You guys have no idea. <laughs> didn't catch anything yesterday. Didn't catch anything the last time I was out here. But today, we caught some. It tore that worm apart, too. Let's go ahead and rig up a, uh, rig up a new worm here. Now, I only caught two bass on the trip fishing today. Cold front moved in relatively quickly, and I packed up my bags as soon as that happened and took off. But catching two fish is better than catching no fish, like we did yesterday. <laughs> uh, here's footage of yesterday. Well, a, good, a cool thing about the Deeper Pro is you can save the history on your phone uh, through the app. And as you can see here, this is the history from yesterday. I'm just kind of going through it. As you can see, we're casting and we're casting and we're casting in all different areas from this uh, spot here. And no fish are popping up whatsoever. Then finally, I'm casting out here uh, different directions from the spot. And then boom. Look at that. Big old school fish. Looks great, doesn't it? Would love to catch some of those. Oh, fortunately, they are so far out that I can't get a lure out there to even try to catch that school. Um... The Deeper Pro is a heavy, I think it's about two ounces, so you can cast it relatively far. But the weight that I was using, the weights that I had on me, there was no way I was going to get uh, my lure out to where they were at. So um, couldn't catch any of them. But yeah, that's what a school fish looks like on the Deeper Pro. I plan on using this. I've never used a fish finder before because I've mainly been a shore fisherman, just bought a kayak. Um, not too long ago, so I'm going to try to get that out on the water anyway, but uh, I still fish from the shore and I've never used a fish finder, bought the Deeper Pro and I've had good luck with it. I would recommend it if you're a shore fisherman and you're fishing in bodies of water that are less than, or I'm sorry, greater than four feet deep, the uh, Deeper Pro will probably be good assistance to you uh, to try to catch fish. It's helped me so far. Like I said, I've caught coho. There's another school of fish right there. I've caught coho from Lake Michigan that I normally wouldn't have caught using the Deeper Pro and that bass today caught as well um, with the assistance of the Deeper Pro. So that's all I got for this video. You guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. To stay up to date on future content, subscribe and click that notification bell. I'm Jake with JVD. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world, and we will see you next time.